teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Flacco here on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Mike Wallace, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now Flacco. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Flacco right back to work after the pick six. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Devon Kennard. Not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Flacco fakes the give, sets to throw. And his throw is incomplete. The veteran Jeremy Macklin was the intended target, and it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. That looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Call that a loss of seven to bring up fourth. Here's Sam Cook now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. Let's take it inside his own 40. Good blocking there, and nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Giants will begin this drive in good shape, first and 10. Manning now on first down. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Throwing on first down is Manning. Flushed out right. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the five at the four. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. On the run, Darquan. And he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. Orleans Darquan, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants add on to their lead. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. 